Well, it's great being back with you this morning. Uh, we're going to be digging into the first discussion question from the message this last week, which focuses on John 16, 33, one of my favorite passages in Scripture. And it asks, is suffering something every Christian will have to deal with? And why do we think that's the case? So first off, John 16, 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world, but be courageous. I have conquered the world. Now, there's a lot that I love about that verse in particular. I love that whole passage of Scripture, really John 14 to John 16, is Jesus meeting with the disciples and just talking to them about, look, this, I'm going to be leaving you soon. I'm sending this other helper, this comforter, this advocate to come in my place, but I will be leaving soon. Now, the disciples are obviously like, they base their lives around Jesus the last couple years, few years at this point. And so they're probably thinking, well, why? Like, what, how is that possibly the best move for us here? But that's what Jesus tells them. And then he goes on and ends with that verse saying, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You're going to have suffering in this world, but be courageous. I've conquered the world. But Jesus says that just matter of fact, before ever going to the cross, because obviously he's about to, but that hasn't happened yet. The disciples don't even know about the cross, even though Jesus has alluded to it. They do not understand what's about to happen. And he lets them know he's already conquered. It's already done. It's a done deal. He's already, he might as well have already risen from the grave because it is that set in stone. This is what's going to happen. Now, back to our question, is, some, is suffering something every Christian will have to deal with? Well, he, he says, you will have suffering in this world. That's not, it could happen to you. Maybe. Like it's, it's a, like 80, 75%. No, he says it will happen. We're not going to be able to dodge it. That, that suffering does happen to every single person. When you walk into church, it's not like you see a bunch of people who never have suffering in their lives ever again. They, they do. We all do. We, we come into church heavy with heavy hearts sometimes. I mean, it, it, we have a lot of hardship that we deal with. And so the next question is, well, why? Why do we have to deal with suffering? And that's really what the next question asks for as well. Why does God allow for Christians to suffer? But to answer why, why does it happen in the first place? What causes that suffering? Sin. It's the consequences of sin all around us. Whether it's our own sin or, or just a physical effect of someone else's sin, Sin has really negatively impacted every part of our lives. Death hadn't entered the picture until sin had. So, so everything goes back to sin is a, is a, is a horrible, like deadly thing. We, we know where our lives would be heading if we don't give our lives to Christ. That our sin would be such a big consequence, even spiritually and, and later for, for the afterlife, that obviously that's why we cling to Jesus, recognizing we need Him to pay that debt for us, to have our relationship restored with God, here and now, before we even get to that point. But when it comes to suffering, of course we're going to have to deal with suffering. Jesus himself did. He went to the cross. Even when he was tempted, you could say there was suffering going on there. But the cross, leading up to the cross, he suffered on our behalf. And that's really in this passage we were in on Sunday, 1 Peter chapter 4, Verses 12 through 19, it references that we join in the sufferings of Christ. And, and when we're going through that suffering and live out how God's called us to, even in the midst of that, that's when our witness shines brightest. We're going to pick up talking a little bit more about that, which is what our third discussion question says on Thursday. So we'll see you then.